Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. We're Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds. What in the world? Where are we going? Whoa. Oh, no. Wait a second. Oh, our elytra broke right over the bottom wall. What? <laughs> oh, man, that could have been... That could have been a that could have been a little bit of a disaster there. Um, hold on. Let me fix this. Fresh elytra installed and ready to go. And as I was uh, putting on the elytra, I noticed there was quite a show behind us. We've got escaping llamas from a house with a cat, a corral of obscure creatures, and a perpetually dancing llama. You can always find all sorts of exciting things going on at Pearl's house. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. But anyway, guys, welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. In our last episode, we built the Gigabase. That is right. We have finally built and picked in a location for our build. And this was a long time coming to finally get our base built and designed. Now, this is only the first layer of our base as we have many, many more layers coming. But I just have to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support on the build as I was a little bit worried about one, not making so many videos recently and coming in with this monstrosity of stone and uh, to know you guys have some confidence in me, which I think you have way more than I do in myself. <laughs> I just uh, appreciate that so very much. So thank you from the bottom of my scarred heart. I very, very much appreciate that. So now I got to come up with something sweet to go here. And I think I've got some ideas. But one thing I did notice was that uh, our good buddy Pearl and Green have... Uh, yet to start their portions yet. And of course, you know what that means. Revenge. Sweet, beautiful revenge. With all the love in the world to Pearl and Grian, I formally request Grian build here and Pearl build here. <laughs> we got him back, everyone. We got him back for all the signs. But that looks great, doesn't it, from a distance? That looks really, really good. Now, I do have to say, Big respect goes out to Pearl, Grian, Impulse, and Mumbo for building in the sky. Because I've got to say, this was super painful. As much as just falling there. That hurt. I'm serious. It's really hard to build letters in the air. And especially ours. As you can see, I tried out a few different ones. Enough goofing about. It's time to get to some business. Problem is... I don't know what kind of business to get into because we have nearly a mile long list of things to do here on the server to build and to do. The first thing, build our very first shop here in the Bodum Shopping District for, of course, Bodum Incorporated. Finish the landscaping under and around the wagons. Neglect the redstone, which I am definitely going to do here in our factory. <laughs> Finish building our mega mountains and starting our mega base around the mountains. Forgetting about building the backside, definitely gonna continue that one. Finishing the interior and the roadway that leads to the Swagon Garage. So yeah, we've got a lot of things on our list to do. Now the question is, what do we do first? I'll tell you what we do first. We figure out what in the world. Oh, this is Gems Tree. Oh, this is Gems Tree, the one that we, <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that we planted in B-Dub's base after he defaced the swagon. What is this? Scar, keep your raft out of our place. Wolf B-Dub's. <laughs> well, wolf you too, B-Dub's. A raft. Wait a second. I haven't checked our raft in a long time. I wonder if we made diamonds. If you don't remember, we relocated our roaming swagon shop from the nether in our past episode into the big eyes bay here on a raft and you know as i suspected as i suspected they've defaced the property again wax my roof and why is there wall what is that sound what is that oh oh geez what in the world whoa they're spinning what in the world oh gosh that scared me <laughs> wow look at the speed on those things whoa wait what makes it go so fast <laughs> Wow, okay, Lawman, I'm so sorry you've been subjected to this. I'm so sorry. You're the best meal ever. I love you so much. Anyway, wow, that could like, that's like a buffer. It's like buffing the side of a car. Make it all shiny and everything. Okay, well, we're going to avoid those. Let's see if we actually made some diamond. <laughs> you guys can deface my wagon anytime you want. Like, keep coming. It's helping my business. 
<laughs> wow, we're not poor. This is amazing. This is good because I owe Green 400 diamonds because he's making me I owe you boxes. Wow, okay then. Wow, another 32. The Swaggin finally made a profit here in the Big Eyes Bay. They left me a little sign here. It looks like the might have a problem. Big Eye Boys. Thank you, Big Eye Boys. I just made a stack and a half of diamonds. Appreciate ya. Okay, I just sent B-Dibs a snarky message on Discord about making diamonds after he defaced the property. Turns out he's the one who bought everything. So our next location for the Swaggin is just gonna be a little bit closer to our friend b -Dubs. We're just gonna plant it right next to his door so he doesn't have to go far to his favorite shop. Oh, 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 oh. I've got some bad news that I don't know how to break to you. What the heck? How did I just experience kinetic energy? <laughs> Uh, but I do have bad news. I love my builds, but I often think that my builds don't love me back, considering how many times they kill me. <laughs> they do kill me quite often, but you know, I still love them. And as I mentioned, I have a little bit of um, <clears throat> bad news, but that's okay, because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dispense the bad news by looking at Jelly's beautiful face. Like, look at how cute she is. She's the cutest cat in the whole wide world. Look at that pink little nose that I like to boop. Look at the little green eyes. And best of all, I'm gonna keep working on my starter face. Look, 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 look at her ears. Look at her ears, look at her ears. I can't see them very well. Look at the little ears on top. And uh, there we go. I dispensed bad news and you didn't even notice, but you accepted it for fact. And that's what we're gonna do. And it's gonna be amazing. You might have to rewind and listen very closely for the bad news, but as I said, you accepted it. You're all for it, and what we're going to create is going to be amazing. We're going to need a metric butt ton of leaves and a smidge of parm- wait, not parmesan, moss box. <laughs> Don't mistake moss box for parmesan. <laughs> anyway. We need to go get those resources and then we can get going. It's going to be amazing. I guarantee you it. You're going to love this build. I don't know if this is the best method, but I just make these little wormholes here. Look, I made this other one on the other side here. Look, just straight down. So if anyone has any tips on how to get moss a little bit faster, because we're going to need a whole, whole, whole lot. So yeah, moss down and spam it away is kind of my method. Hey, Scar's doing something. Oh. <laughs> hey, Scar. Oh, hello there, Impulse. How are I barely you? Caught this. I barely caught I was just flying over back from a little experiment I did with Zedef, and I just saw you down here digging. What are you doing? Oh, you hole? know, Impulse, the grind <laughs> never ends. I'm uh, getting some getting some moss. Getting some moss here. I'm making wormholes. Would you like to? Uh oh, that oh, that was a, a mistake. Shoot. <laughs> Dude, this never works out really well. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I got a tree to deal with. You're you're making wormholes. Why? What are we gonna do with these wormholes? Uh, obviously for worm business. No, I I'm just trying to get moss. I'm trying oh, to get moss, just... dude. This is the most painful block to get, but it's also the most satisfying. So it's a weird dichotomy. It's a very it's perplexing, one would say. It, it is fun to mine. I'll give you that. But it, it, there's better ways to do this, Scar. You know that, right? Nope. No, no. Okay. No, it's wormholes. Um, did you know you, the moss farms are actually fairly simple to make? Impulse. <laughs> Impulse, you silly goose. Uh -oh. <laughs> have you seen my factory? Yeah, yeah. It's empty. I have no idea how to make these types of things. Oh, you crazy. Gosh. You okay. crazy, Impulse. Um. Okay, Scar, I can I can help you out with that, okay? Uh, I actually have something that is sort of making moss already. It's just turning it all into bone mill, actually. You can, wait, so, wait, you're not joking? You can make, you can make a redstone farm out of moss? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just, you just make the stone with a stone generator and then you, you moss it like you're doing now. And then, and then you just push it with pistons and it harvests itself. It's easy. I can show you, but uh, currently it's making bone mill, so I'll have to make some modifications if you want to collect the moss. Can we look at it? Yeah, you want to go take a peek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let, let me pack up my boxes. Thing. Let me pack my boxes up. Will you look at that? You do have a new farm over here. Ooh, that's lava. Ooh, that's Where hot. That's hot. Oh, don't go in the lava. Don't go. Can you turn it on? Wow. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? What happens if you stand on it? 
Uh, you'll be okay, I think, unless you, like, somehow glitch through the floor. But... Oh, okay, yeah, the floor is moving, so I guess that's I guess, a possibility. I guess this is one way you can collect moss, just dance around here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Impulse. <clears throat> I'll just uh, sit here for a bit and uh, no more wormholes. <laughs> Just Somebody's gonna fall pockets. into those wormholes at some point. I'll tell you this, there's probably five of them out there by the, now. I would like a shulker box full of the plants. Hey, I would dude. like three shulker boxes of the moss. Is that possible? Oh, easy. That is easy. Once I convert this farm, Four boxes. Four boxes? Just tell me how much you need. Fellow Boda member, I have no idea. You four need. boxes would be, would be plenty. Okay. All right. And a box I of carpets. Okay. Okay. I'm greedy at this cool. point. No, not at all, man. <laughs> not at all. Whatever you need, I will be happy to supply a fellow Boda member for sure. And uh, I have nothing to give you. But what I can give you is my love and services. If you need an IOU or something, I'll always be there for you. Oh, well, I appreciate that. If the swagon I, can I'm... come in and assist you in any way, mm -hmm. I'll always be there. Well, Impulse, <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye, all Impulse. Right, Goodbye. I'll get you collecting moss. See you. I am super, super impressed with Impulse's uh, farm there that I'm uh, looking forward to uh, get my moss blocks. But until then, we've got some work to do. <laughs> oh, we got it, boys. We did it. <laughs> he set a little trap for us. How cute. B-dubs, I woove it. So nice. Look at it. Oh, man, that is hilarious. Oh, you tried to get us, didn't you? Oh, you did, didn't you, B-dubs? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. To oh, that is flashing. Oh, my gosh. No! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he got the last life on us on that one. <laughs> I thought we were safe. I thought all was well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at the hole. <laughs> We've got holes all over. <laughs> Beat ups turn us into Swiss cheese. Oh man, did I ever get freaked out by that? <laughs> Oh, it was uh, quite the diversion having that teensy weensy bomb at the top that made me feel all big and tough like I can defuse bombs. And then the real one went biom down below. Wow, look at the size of that hole right there. Woo. But as I said, I, uh, I got a little freaked out there. But this actually opens the door to something that I've had in my back pocket for quite some time now that I can finally feel justified releasing upon the server. So thank you, big eye crew. <laughs> you got something to watch out for. I would keep some eyes on the back of your head when you're on the server in the next week. Oh, it is going to be glorious. But anyway, that was uh, that was good, B-dubs. I wooved it, all right? I really, in the end, did wooved it. So let's uh, clean this up and start preparing the garage. Hold on now. This is a rare sight. All of the Gigabase is showing up in one shot. Pearl, my mountains, Grian, Mumbo, and wow, look at Impulse behind that sunset looking fantastic. The server has a render distance that goes down with more lag, so we rarely get to see my mountains. And with seeing them in all of its glory, I should give you a hint on what the Gigabase is going to look like. So in your minds, envision what a mechanical mountain might look like with a dash of Anno 1889, maybe a little smidge of Bioshock Infinite with a whole lot of steampunk and it is going to be absolutely amazing but we're not going to be working on that today please don't hate me for this but we're back at the survival base to finish this area off once and for all and when I'm inspired creatively I just can't let it go and I've got some ideas on building roads terraforming and giving the swag and HQ here a soul. That is right. We're going to give it a soul with an interior and to complete this area once and for all. So with that, my friends, let's hit super fast build mode one last time here at the survival base.
end of super fast build mode. And that was a three and a half day time lapse to make everything become a reality. And I've got a bit of a surprise for you. I cut a part of the time lapse to give you a little surprise, right? So you didn't get to see it in the time lapse. I think you're going to love. But as I was finishing up here, I noticed that there is um, some new things here in uh, Bodum that uh, I did not know about when you're working on uh, <laughs> the same build for three and a half days straight, you uh, lose track of things. And now there is hourglasses full of diamonds. And um, our ours is very pathetic and it is very much empty here. And look at Grian, big money bags over here just spill it out. Like legitimately, he has diamonds spilling out. Sweet baby jelly. I have got a revelation that is going to shock you to your core here. And that is G's hourglass, which has a little bit of hot air, as you can see, a little bit hollow, a bit sus here, Grian, pretending you're spilling over with diamonds. Got a hollow front here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, our hourglass here might be completely empty, but it's empty with honesty. Wait, I'm not, wait, I'm not sure if that actually makes any sense, but I'm sticking with it. I do promise you, I am going to ship, what in the world? Oh, I thought that was a fox. It's just a shroom light. <laughs> anyway. As I said, I am going to show you the surprise in just a minute. It's going to blow your mind. But Grian here has put down his quick fix boxes, a hundred diamonds each. But I kind of feel like we need one of these. Well, this is a bit disheartening. We can buy one box here. Let's get one from the back that hasn't been touched. Grian, can I get a good guy discount on a second box? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I need a good guy Bodum discount. I can no longer hold this build back. It's time to finally show you this. And that is the Pine Forest is back. These are 30 some custom built tree. Each tree is unique to itself. So no one tree is alike. We've got custom light posts here. We have our brand new road design, which I'm absolutely in love with. And of course, when you're entering swag and territory, you are greeted by one giant red hat to let you know that you have entered swagon land this area has backstory easter eggs and all sorts of fun things to discover like version 4 of the swagon here looking super fancy this is no longer being pulled by our furry friends no this is steam powered and you might be wondering what kind of a uh, backstory is this area in tail scar well when the tycoon arrived in this continent on the swagon here with all these beautiful wagons the tycoon discovered a old hunting and fishing lodge deep in the forest here and thought, you know what? We can convert that to the Swaggin Garage and HQ. So you'll find lots of fun little details in reference to what was here before. And that of course was the Pine Top Lodge. So this little pathway leads you into the lodge here with the neat little lights. And you can tell that I love like old Western lodges. So this was heavily inspired by that. And you'll find these little carts here outside moving resources in and out. And again, another reference to the old lodge, the Pine Top Lodge luggage cart here. And that leads right into the hotel lobby, which has been converted to the assembly area that puts the swagons together. So. Here on the table, you have the chassis of the Swagon, you have the storage compartment, you have the roof, you have the chair, and the little hook for the animal to pull it. And then right around the corner, you'll find the elevators to the old Pine Top Lodge guest rooms and suites, by the way. And just to the side, you have the Pine Top Lodge pool and spa entrance where, yeah, the pool... <laughs> has seen better days. One of my favorite things here at the Swagon Garage is this conveyor belt of all the pieces of the Swagon going into the garage. This was inspired by the Gag Factory at Toontown in Disneyland. It's one of my favorite things as a kid to see. Now, this leads into the warehouse where we've got all these shelves. Ow, what the world? <laughs> what the heck, we just got shot. <laughs> Is there a skeleton over here? I mean, that's really insulting if it is, because as you can see, I have lit this place to the fullest extent. There is end rods, there is lamps, there is carpets with torches under them. You couldn't get any more lit here at the Pine Top Lodge. I seriously don't, wait, I saw it, I saw it. Oh, he's in the, there's a skeleton in the boat. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at him up there. What a clever little skeleton. You, you gotta give it to him. You gotta give it to him. Super, ow, super clever. All right, well, I'm gonna leave you to it up there, but you can see all of the incredible detail in here. One of my favorite details is this little cart with the boxes getting ready to be loaded on to that swagon. But as we looked at earlier, this, of course, was the assembly line for the components of the swagon. And then these are the now completed swagon wagons ready to roll out. And you can find more of the luggage carts out here and all the beautiful little details. And you can kind of hopefully see why it was worth it to come back here. I hope you at least see that. The forest, all the details that truly give the area a soul. And it's what I stress so much when I talk about building in Minecraft is it's one thing to make a pretty looking build. It's a whole other thing to give the build soul purpose. And that's that human element that makes you really feel like there has been life here before and life going on now. And it's it's why I love Minecraft so much is just to add these details and to kind of lose myself in the world of Minecraft. Let all the stresses of the outside world melt away for a few minutes of enjoyment in this blocky world. I hope this was all worth it. Coming back to our survival base, building out the story to the backstory to all the details. It is something that I love in Minecraft. Oh my gosh, okay. This is probably a cue that we probably should end the episode. <laughs> But final statement here, let me know in the comments if you think it was worth it coming back here and fulfilling our vision for this entire area. So my friends, <laughs> with one heart, until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch videos. If you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later and don't subscribe because you may just become scarred for life. Mm -hmm.